Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the top eight mistakes that first time home buyers make. So common mistake number one, looking at homes before you're pre-approved for a mortgage. It is super important that you speak to a mortgage broker first and find out how much you qualify for so that you don't shop outside of your budget. Now, why I suggest a mortgage agent over just going to your bank? Well, a mortgage agent is going to be able to shop around at a bunch of different lenders so that they can find you the best interest rates. Now, when you go and speak to a mortgage agent, they're gonna need a lot of information from you like your income, your credit score, your credit history, as well as a list of your debts and your liabilities. All of these items are gonna build up your application and then they're gonna be able to sort of give you an idea of what price range you can look at based on as well, how much of a down payment you might have. You should always be pre-approved before you start looking at homes. That way, uh, if you're say looking at $500,000 houses and you find out that you can only uh, afford a $400,000 house, you're not going to be let down every time you go and look at those cheaper homes uh, because if you didn't look at the $500,000 homes in the first place, you wouldn't have anything to compare them to. Common mistake number two is not factoring in all of the expenses that comes with buying a home. A lot of people think that the down payment is all you need to have saved up just to buy the house, but there's actually a lot of other costs that come with it. You've got things like lawyer's fees, appraisal costs, a building inspection, and as well as a land transfer tax. It's important to note that there is uh, some rebates uh, on the land transfer tax for a first home buyer in Ontario. So always consult with your mortgage lender and your lawyer to figure out if you're eligible. Mistake number three, being too picky. When you start viewing homes in your price range, uh, it's important to try and overlook a lot of the lipstick stuff in the house. Paint colors, furniture, carpet on the floor, those things can all be easily replaced. Uh, what you want to focus on is whether the house has good bones and make sure there's not going to be any unforeseen huge expenses in the future if you buy a house. Things to look out for is any mold, water damage, any structural issues there may be if, if previous owners uh, took out a structural wall. These are all things you're going to want to be aware of and we'll always recommend that you get a building inspection before closing. Mistake number four, taking on debt before closing. Now this is a huge one guys, your mortgage is not set in stone until you officially close on the house. A lot of people will think, oh great I just bought a house, I put an offer in, it got accepted, um, but it's not actually completed until the sale goes through on closing day. The biggest mistake you can do is go out and buy a brand new car before closing because your mortgage company could then turn around and say that you no longer qualify for that mortgage, but legally you are contracted to buy the house. So just to be safe, it's a good idea to avoid taking on any uh, new debts like a new car or racking up a credit card bill before closing day. Mistake number five is trying to time the market. We've seen a lot of people that have been timed out of the market by trying to wait for the market to dive. For a first home buyer, the best time to buy is when you can afford to buy. Just getting started into the world of real estate is going to reward you significantly as a first home buyer as opposed to paying rent. You're going to build up equity over time and it is extremely unlikely that a property is going to depreciate over a long period of time. What you really don't want to happen is be able to afford a house today and wait another year or two to try and buy when the market goes down and the opposite happens and you no longer qualify for a home. You can get stuck really quickly and you may not ever qualify for the same kind of mortgage again. Mistake number six, looking outside of your budget. It is important to understand where your budget and your spending power is in a certain market. Right now, it is a hot seller's market, so if you qualify for a $500,000 house, chances are anything listed around $500,000 is going to sell outside of your budget. You should always look slightly below your budget and be prepared to go up to your budget. Now if it was a buyer's market, you could probably look around your budget or even slightly over depending on how long homes have been sitting on the market and the advice of a good realtor is going to go a long way for you. Mistake number seven only looking in one geographical location. As a first home buyer, you can't have the perfect home on day one. 
this means it might not be in a specific neighborhood that you love, but it's more important to get on the ladder so that you can work your way up. If you're looking in a desired area and you're really struggling to find something within your budget, it's probably a good indication that you need to look elsewhere. Sometimes you may even need to look in other cities and maybe look at relocating jobs or if you can work from home. Sometimes moving just half an hour away can significantly benefit your spending power as well as it only being like a 30 minute commute to your job. And finally, uh, mistake number eight, not finding a realtor that's gonna look after you as a first home buyer. It is important as a first home buyer that you find an agent that A, you trust and you're comfortable working with, and B, someone who's actually gonna take you seriously as a buyer and not just brush you under the rug. A lot of seasoned agents will avoid first home buyers because they're a lot more work than they are than somebody who is just buying and selling with a lot more money. Find an agent who knows how much work it is buying a first home and how important it is to you, as well as someone who's going to look after your best interests. So thanks for watching guys. There's my top eight common mistakes that first home buyers make. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. I'll respond to all of them. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.